Hello? Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm all good, thank you. You're looking at getting Mafio? Okay, yeah, talk to me. What do you want? Mafio, perfectly fine. You're looking about 20, 25 million for him. Fantastic right back, absolutely rapid. He will he'll rip your league apart. Trust me, he's that good. He is super fit. Yeah, he has no injuries whatsoever. Always, always turned up for training. Always there. Never injured, neither. Never suspended as well. Like, on the pitch, super, super clean. Highly recommend him. Yep. Yeah. If you can get his contract down, we're more than happy to let him go. He just needs that bigger move to a better club. And you, you guys have got the better club, so you can see why he wants that move. And I, I see why you want him. We'll we'll fish someone out from right back and we'll we'll bring someone in. But yeah, highly recommend you bring taking him in. Yeah, done deal. Yeah, you happy with that? Absolute pleasure doing business with you. I appreciate that, dude. Much love. Bye bye. Guys, we just sold Mafio. We need to go get some players. Let's do it. It's a sad day in Mallorca for sure, as Pablo Mafio has left the club for 24 million. He has gone to Al Hidiad, and we are actually quite happy that we got 24 million for him. He is on 475,000 pound a week, so we kind of say fair play and go grab the bag. But we had to let him go. There was no way of stopping him. I could not any anywhere near that amount of money. But for him, he is going to be a Old old soldier gone and we move with him. So where have we invested that money? So we've still got 20 million in the transfer budget, but we do have some players coming in. And this is who we already brought. So where's replacement is going to be Matthew Zoinio. Yes, that is a mouthful, but he is a brilliant... Brazilian, 23 years young. He is going to come in. He is on £16,500 a week from us. I think it's a good deal. He hasn't got the best jumping reach, but he's got everything else in there that's going to keep him going. His mentals are very, very, very good, which I'm quite happy about. He's able to cross a ball. He can dribble with it. He's got good passing as well as all right tackling as well. I think this is a good deal, and the fact that we only picked him up for £3.5 is an absolute steal for us. So that is our first bit of business, replacing Mafio, and it's going to be the Brazilian, Matthew Zinio, and I am happy that we've got him in. We then picked up an Argentine with the name Lionel, and his second name begins with M, and it's actually not Messi, it's Miranda. So, there was a chance that it could have been Messi, but it wasn't, but it's still an Argentine named Lionel. We take it, and we're going for free as well, so I'm absolutely over the moon with this one. A little bit of a ball-winning midfielder in there as well. Can play as a deep-line playmaker as well. So he's got a bit of versatility about him. He hasn't got the best strength, which we're going to work on. He is 30, but he's going to be a backup for us. He's come in, and he's happy as a squad player, so a little bit of rotation for this guy. But the fact we picked him up for absolutely nothing is great. Once again, great composure as well. Determination's a little bit down, but everything else with the work rate, teamwork, vision, uh, positioning, off the ball all fantastic i think he's going to be a very good versatile player for us another freebie for it is going to be your hand back shush i'm going to get crucified in the comments for that one he does look a very good player for us once again as you can see in the map very versatile can play anywhere in the am position can play if we do go back and drop down to right mid and left mids as well he could dribble with the ball he could cross the ball he could take corners he can pass the ball as well he's got great technique he's got all right composure with 12s and then decisions flares good off the ball is fantastic his work rate of 15 as well is brilliant and he's got good vision and also he's got a little bit of pace about him still with him being 30 i'm very happy with this signing i think once again he's going to be coming into the team being a regular starter also getting dropped out and we can just mix and match with our wingers whenever we need and what we need if we need pace we bring someone else on if we need the technical ability it's going to be Johan. I then thought we were going to lose Muruki, so I went out and brought a youngster, 23 years old. It's going to be none other than Lorenzo Luca. We picked him up for 5.4 million, and this guy, well, 5.75 million, sorry, and he is going to be absolutely a beast for us. Spent the season at Ajax. We then picked him up from Pisa, 
and he's going to be wonderful for us. If we do lose Maruki, we do have this guy that's going to slot straight in there. I think it's an absolute steal for us. Good anticipation, good composure, great determination as well. Good off the ball. He has got a little bit of pace about him with 13 speed, but the 18 jumping reach, 16 strength, and 17 heading, and 14 finishing and 14 technique, he is going to be so, so, so good for us. An absolute monster signing for me, and I'm so happy that we brought him in. And one of our meme signings is going to be none other than Eric Maxim Chupo Motin. We picked him up on a free. He is only on 3.9k, so I thought, you know what, let's have some fun. He's got good technique. He's got good finishing. He's got good flair. He's got good uh, composure and anticipation. Doesn't have the best of speed, but he has got good jumping reach as well with 14 heading. He could be versatile for us on that wing or up front. You just never know when you're going to need him. And also, he's an ex-Stoki, so we brought him in. Happy, happy shopping. And that is going to really bolster up what we have got and what we've got with our team. We did also sell Prats for 2 million. Didn't really need him. He is 31 as well. With Luca coming in, he wasn't really needed for us. So we got rid of Prats and uh, we're going to take the 2 million. We do still have a nice 20 million in the bank account with 56 grand in the wages. And I am going to let the comments decide who do you reckon we should have a look at and who we should pick up whoever's the best one out there i will go and potentially have a look and potentially try and pick up for you the tactics that we are running as well is going to be three tactics we have a 424 which is going to be obviously luca maruki are going to big big boys up there these boys are going to whip this ball into him and hopefully we can get some goals we do have a 4231 which is going to be two defensive midfielders when we're going to play against them stronger sides this is probably what we're going to rock up and we also have a 4231 where the dms are now moved up to center mids and we're just going to have a little bit more freedom when we play the lesser sides this is probably the tactic that we're going to use to try and push on a little bit further and just like solidify how we're playing and then if we are ultra attacking and we're not scoring we'll go to the 4-2-4 so if you can see any positions here where you think need improving then let me know and we'll have a look to play here who we think could do better in this team but that's just where we are we saw 20 million i'm going to wait for the transfer window to close on the last day to see if we can snip up a bargain so let's get into our first game of the season which is going to be none other than ah yes Barcelona. And before we play Barcelona, we had a pretty good preseason as well. Only losing one game against Ajax, which I aren't too that fussed about, really. We picked up a good win against Monaco and Club Bruges. So hopefully we can take this momentum into the first game of the season, which is always going to be a tough one against Barcelona. I do pick up a player called Juan Mojica, and he is going to be 1.4 million pounds for us. We're going from Villarreal. I think he's another really good player that can work on the wings or the wing back either way. He's got very good pace about him. He can dribble the ball. He can cross it. He's got good tackling as well. Off the ball's good. Positioning's all right, and his work rate is good as well. Got good anticipation. Composure might just let him down, but once again, he is a fringe player, so he's going to be back up for us. Another absolute rapid winger as well is going to be Chukwino, who is going to come in from Wolves. We picked him up for £6 million. We are looking at this dribbling and this pace, why he's going to be so clinical for us. Good technique as well i feel like he's going to score quite a few goals and definitely assist some with the dribbling and crossing abilities that he's got especially with luca and maruki in the box there they are going to be all over this player so he is going to come into the team as well and it's time to play our first game of the season and the first game of our full season unless we move at a later date, against Barcelona. A tough one to start. Real Madrid starting out strong with a 4-1 victory as well. Also, Atletico Madrid gain a 5-1 victory up there as well. Some big results. Hopefully, we can live up to the expectation and potentially get a win here as well. We have this as the team. It's going to be Radicic into the goalkeeper. Lato, Copete, Raylio, Mazzarino, Samu as our ball winning midfielder, Dorda as our DLP, Suso on the right hand side, Yahan in the shadow striker, also in Dae in the left hand side, and Muruki as our striker. If you didn't see, this is Amath and Dae. He has been on loan the previous season. He was out there in Valladolid and he's done absolutely fantastic. And look at his pace and his dribbling. So we are going to try and take full advantage of this and use that pace 
try and capitalize on Barcelona's defense. Whether that happens is a completely different story, but we can dream a dream. So let's get into it and see how we do. The first game of the season at home. You always want it to be a victory for the fans. A little bit nervous because we're playing Barcelona, but I think we can do all right. That's very defensive, and I don't like that they've got two strikers with Fatty and Lewandowski up front. That's going to be an issue. Anyway, let's get into it to see if we can do well. As we are going to get the first highlight here is Samu's going to bring this ball, finds Dorne, gets the ball to Susu, plays it through. That's a bad ball, and Frankie is going to pick that up. Oh no, this is going. This this is already this is already bad. As Balde is going to push forward, finds Lewandowski. Can we get it up him? Uh, excuse me. Huh? Can we get the ball? Oh no, he's tackled him. He's gone straight back to Lewandowski. Finds Pedri in the box. Well, not in the box on the edge. Ball, ball movement. Lewandowski. This is going to be a long season. He's offside, he's offside, it doesn't matter. Calm down, calm down. It's all right, it's all right. He's offside, he's offside. That is a little bit of a let off there and just proves what Barcelona are capable of doing to us. As the ball gets played in there, oh my days, that line is mighty, mighty fine. And that's a great finish from Lewandowski. He's just too good, he's too good. It's going to be all Barcelona, I pretty think, as Frankie's going to whip this in. Good header away from Samu. And then, oh... And Dai with a, such a poor touch there. It's going to strike. What a strike that is. And is that a save? It's not. It's off the bar for like, thankfully. And it's Barcelona again piling the pressure on. Are we going to get the ball? Are we going to touch the ball as the ball gets whipped in? That's a great header. And you don't let beat Lewandowski in the air. He is too strong and powerful. 1-0 Barcelona. Lato is going to get a throw in for us though. Finds a good ball to Johan. As we move it forward now, where's he going to go with that? He's gone back to the goalkeeper. That is not good. Because I'm a little bit scared of what he's going to do with this. As Radio is already on a yellow cord. What's he been doing? Plays it ball. Finds Suso. Good overlapping for Mafrozinho. He's going to whip. Can he get a whip in? Great ball in. Ball's back stick. He doesn't find the big target man, though. He's like seven foot. But Samu does pick up that loose ball. He needs help. As good one's going to steal it off him. And somehow, this is going to end up being Barcelona's ball. As Stegen brings it out nicely. Finds Langlet. Finds Balde. As he's going to push down this left. That's right. That's a great tackle in there as well. As Suso's going to find the ball back to Matheneo. As he's going to push forward. Now finds a good ball. Dodd it into the box. Can he get a ball across? Finds it through. And there it is our man. Oh. Oh. Hallelujah. 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 Our saviour, that is Suso, gets us a goal. Come on, get in there. God, I love this man. I honestly have no idea what I would do without Suso being in this team. Honestly, he is an absolute, oh no, he's a godsend for us. As Barcelona are going to get a corner. Goalkeeper stayed on the line. I don't like that, but it's cleared away. They are going to get seconds though. Oh no, don't, uh oh, please someone, someone, no. Oh my God. Why did everyone just stand still? Why did we stand still, boys? What are we doing? Second ball. The ball comes in. Just watch here. Ball comes in. No one pushes him. And then... No. no oh, no, no. Why is he stuck? What, what has happened there? What have I just signed? Why, why, why is he stuck? Why? Oh, my days. Is it because he doesn't understand Spanish? Oh, it's going to be another corner. What is going on? It's going to be a cricket score here, I think. As Jungle whips that ball in. There's no one there. Lewandowski over the ball. Oh, my days. Suso, though, come on. We can't just rely on Suso every time, can we, boys? I know he's wonderful and he's brilliant, but we need a bit more from the rest of the squadron here. Oh, no. What have I signed? What, what right back have I signed there? Suso, yet again, saving the day for us. He brings it around. Oh, he's at the ball. No way. We're still on it, though. Johan is going to get that ball. Can he do anything with it? Finds a ball to Samu, who's going to put it down. Good ball movement here. Bit of... Oh, thanks, highlight. Okay, end of the first half. It's not the best, not going to lie, but it's not the worst. We've had our chances, and Barcelona have took their chances. Just a little bit more we need. A little bit more. I've got to say, hands and pockets, we've been terrible. Because we have. Let's, let's be honest, we've been terrible. So let's go. It's coming up to the 60th minute, and we are going to make a couple of changes here for us. And also, we are... Uh, Chicrino is going to come on over on that left-hand side for us. We are going to go to the 4-2-4 as well, and we are going to bring on Lorenzo Luca as that AF, and hopefully something magical can come from this. We are going to make another substitution as Maruki is playing absolutely awful as a 6.3, and it's going to be our man, Chupamotin, is going to be the guy that we are going to go for here. Hopefully he can come up with something if he gets a goal. 
Honestly, it's going to be absolutely mental. But Chupo, I've... Oh, hello. Suso, hang on. Hold the horses. Ball comes in. Lorenzo Luca on his debut! Come on! That's why he's in the team. That's what he's there for. An absolute giant gets us a goal. Come on! Suso with the assist. Yes! Now we are talking. Get in there. Five minutes added on. Please hold on to this, boys. Please, please, please. Let the highlights go. Let the highlights go. Yes! I don't care. That's a 2-2 against Barcelona. Come on. I'm super happy with that. We've actually been the better side, apart from the possession and the pass completion and the fouls. But better XG. Better shots. More on target. 2-2. Yes, good start to the season. We adapted, we changed, and we made the right substitutions. Come on, over the moon with that. We then travel away to Alaves and pick up a 4-0 victory. Maruki gained a hat-trick, kind of telling me, hey, that was just a bad game against Barcelona. I'm still in this team, and Lorenzo is not taking his spot. Suso also gained on the score sheet. We did play the 4-2-4 in this one, because I felt a little bit more comfortable against Alaves, where another three points in the bag for us. Rui Keane has now... Finished his intense language course. He was said to help him learn Spanish faster. Kid has shown impressive progress during the course and is now able to speak Spanish. I would love to hear a Spanish-Irish accent from Roy Keane. I, this man is just a meme waiting to happen. We now play Valcano and we are going to be a tough one for us. They are actually started the season two for two but we are at home so i think i'm gonna go for the four two four roll and hopefully we can just overpower them and pretty much score any more goals than them that's kind of what we're going for if you can see here this is what we're going to use we're going to actually keep Dora as the playmaker because he's a better passer of the ball samu can push forward there as well he can put a tackle in as well so i'm more than happy for him to play that that's going to be the tactic let's see if we can get a win against them and the lato is going to pick up that ball finds a great ball across Zuzio, who gets the ball in and somehow it finds the back of the net there jacquino i'm going to give him the goal there he he works so well for it and once again he's working so hard for it again finds samu in the box and he gets another deflection and that does give us a 2-0 victory over Valcona. and we are going to go into a seven points out of three one of them including barcelona I will take that. We absolutely dominated them as well, only allowing three shots. But can you have a look at this here? 37% possession for the whole game. That is crazy using this 4-2-4 formation here. So we are absolutely flying at the minute right now. And I can say, we currently sit second in the league. Absolute mental how we have started this season. And we still have... Six days left until the transfer window closes, and that's where you guys come in. Any recommendations on this team? Who you think we could improve, where we could go better, and what we can do? Let me know, because we will search for them players. We will find them. I sound like Liam Neeson there. I'll find you. I haven't got many skills. Well, the set of skills I have is playing football manager, and I'm not very good at them ones. I don't know where we are. Anyway, let me know in the comments what players we should sign, who we should have a look at, and maybe we get it before the transfer window ends. And if you would sell anyone, who would you get rid of? Let me know. And also, guys, make sure you hit the like, hit the subscribe on the channel. You know that means the world to me and helps me out massively. And I appreciate every single one of you that are clicking on these and checking it out because it's honestly, I'm getting into YouTube and I'm really enjoying this save. And I hope it's reflecting on what you guys are seeing. So, guys, make sure you do all that. Hit the follow button, subscribe, means the world to me. I'll catch you all next time. Much love and bye bye.